Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. On this episode, uh, we're going to try to get the fuel tank set up and in the car. Uh, I just received my Pro-Am fuel pump hanger, so we'll show you that and get an unbox. My Walbro fuel pump finally showed up, so we'll kind of get that mounted up and uh, show you how this thing gets uh, set up into the car. Okay, thanks and come on along and if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Okay, so we'll get this fuel tank, this box opened up. You see I already cut it open once. Uh, oh, we got parts. Um, okay. And I'll let you know, oh, by the way, we got a fuel pump here. This is the Walbro uh, TI Automotive. What I've also done too, a lot of the guys on the forum, instead of using this gas tank to the filler neck seal, they buy the Ford one. They say it's a lot better. I actually bought that, oh, two, three months ago. So I've already got that unit. Uh, grommets. Yeah, so we'll figure out what the rest of this is. <coughs> oh, fuel filter, which we won't be using. Um, I've actually ordered the um, oh, Trick Flow. Uh, thanks to Paul on the forum, I use that on my Cobra build, and uh, we will use that trick flow unit again with this. Kind of mounted probably the same place, right in front of the tank on the frame. So, but then again, I got to figure out where that box is going to end up. That's why I want to mock this up so we get an idea of where everything needs to go. Okay, what else we got in here? Ah, oh, okay. So we did get a. Yeah, this is what we're going to replace with the Pro-Am. That's our fuel pump uh, hanger. So we're going to replace that with the Pro-Am, which should be here soon. I think these are my straps. Yep, these are the straps. As you can see, I did not do great inventory, so I just kind of opened the box, looked real quick, and went, yeah, yeah, looks like it's all there. So... And I know this has to be cut somewhere. We'll figure that out. Haven't even opened the manual yet for this. We're just winging it. And uh, this, I'm guessing, is probably my sending unit. Uh, yep. Okay. And I think these tanks are straight out of a Mustang, like an 87 to 93, or I'm not really sure. But uh, they're definitely out of a Mustang. I wonder if that's supposed to be bent like that, or that got crushed. Good question. Hmm. I don't see any damage in the box, so I'm guessing that's supposed to be bent like that. I don't know for sure. Okay. I do like these uh, black plastic covers. I have one on the back of Cobra. And uh, just kind of cleans it up back there. Okay, so this is gonna go down into here. That's gonna go into there. There you go. That is pretty basic right there. Okay, so we've got our uh, our breather vent. This has got a screw into here. Okay, so I'm trying to get the uh, fill gasket for the filler neck in. This thing is a bugger. There we go. Okay. Okay. That is the Ford unit, by the way. Okay, so, ooh, that's a nice piece. 
I got to admit, so the nice thing with this is they run the return down to the bottom of the tank. I uh, hope you can see that. They run the return down to the bottom of the tank, whereas the factory one dumps it off at the top, which causes some sloshing and foaming. Uh, I like the size of the wire. I'm, in, uh, I'm impressed. This actually, the guy's on the forum. Uh, I think it was Paul. He's the one that recommends this uh, hanger. He, that's where I got the part number from, and uh, I'm impressed. And here's going to go up into here, and then we can... Uh, I think we'll be able to still get this thing in and actually we'll probably wait until we get the wires done so i got to find a connector still there's also a little rubber thing goes in the bottom of here and then the sock will go on to the bottom of the pump too so let's get this wires cut i need a couple of female connectors here that width we'll shorten those up hmm cut myself a little bit on that sharp edge but uh, i think we're looking pretty good so we've got the two ends now stripped off, uh, cut the ends off. As I said, this, this wire is going to come up into here and plug in. So now we're going to use our wire stripping tools. We're going to strip back just a little bit here. Go. And then these things will push on to here. And then from there, we'll uh, put some heat shrink tube. I'm actually going to heat shrink tube all the way up. We'll heat shrink this together just so they don't chafe. Uh, the one connector, we'll get the other one on, slide the heat shrink tube once it's on, slide that down into there, and then uh, heat shrink that. It'll shrink and glue on up. So, Okay, so now we've got the heat shrink tubing on, so we're going to use our handy dandy little We're just going to shrink that on down. Okay, so you can see our fuel pump hanger wires are done. Um, I've wrapped this right here. As you can, you know, I wrapped this right here. More heat shrink because it kind of just sits against that. Shouldn't vibrate because it's got some tension on it, but it uh, looks good. You got the S hose connected. Uh, looks good. I got the sock in the bottom, a little bit of my blood. Other than that, uh, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so I've gone with the instructions here. Um, here's the unmodified tank, which I've got here. Not exactly perfect. Um, here's the way we have to modify it. So this tab here, as you can see, I've got a little black. So we're going to have to grind that back. Probably use a uh, Dremel tool or a carbide bit. Should make quick work of this. Um, and then up into here, we got to open that up a little bit. So I'm going to try to stock the fuel pump as it sits now. Because you never know, this thing may drop on into here. Pull the sock off here. I'm going to put the helmet cam on. Because you never know, you might just get lucky. Sometimes it's, uh... Oh, I see. So there's where it needs to be. Okay, so I have just figured out I have just figured out that you do not need to cut the tank. So with just a little bit of finesse here, you can actually get make this thing work. So we'll pull this thing back out, which hopefully I can get it back out. Uh, as I said, you got to kind of squeeze that pocket. I see then there's the to let the fuel in. So it's going to sit like this. Sorry about that. So it's going to sit like this up into that. So this thing should probably go this way. Okay. Okay. There we go. We'll get a punch. 
We'll drive that so it snaps up into here, if you can see that. Uh, snaps into here. So we'll drive this around and uh, we've got a fuel system. I might even install the uh, breather in there too. And then we can drop this tank back up and in so it's out of the house and going. So now we, uh, we drove this, locked this into place using a punch and a hammer. I'm gonna put the vent in there and uh, then we'll get the tank up underneath. And then I at least have it out as into here. These things can be a little bugger sometimes. You just kind of kind of work them in, but you got to make sure you see them. So as you got that lip, kind of just work them on in. Then I make sure I get it seated. This thing is not going to want to go in there very easy. So I'll probably put just a hair. Of, I'll make sure just a tiny little bit of grease on that. Just a little dabble, do you? Just to get rid of that sticky rubber. There you go. Okay, we're good to go. So now what we'll do is we will tape off our openings. So we don't get crap down in there. And then we'll go. Okay, so I'm gonna put the grass tank up on top of myself. Try not to slide it on the ground. And then I'll just kind of slide myself back up underneath here. Okay, use my knee. And then I'll grab the nut. Okay, I'm going down. Okay. There we go. Our gas tank is prepped, installed, ready to go. Well, thanks for watching another episode of the Cobra Daytona build. Um, you just saw we got to put it in the gas tank. Got it together. I didn't bolt it up. That's one thing you didn't know. I just kind of got the bolt started so the tank's out of the way because I'm going to mock up my hatch. It's going to open right here. I want the tank in so I know how deep I can make the uh, cubby area, the storage spot. So that's kind of why I wanted the tank in so I can start working on that. I'll probably go over some sheet metal or some aluminum tonight and we'll get going on that. So if you like this video, please hit subscribe. Uh, we appreciate that and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thanks.